Welcome everybody to the second week and weekend and following of January for 2019. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, and this is our second edition of for the new year of our video weather blog and environmental blog called, of course, Your Environment. Taking a look at what's going on in and around the Mid-South area, whether it's national or local or international, we're going to try to bring you again some interesting stories and more importantly, more about how you can participate to find out more about what's going on out there. Little things can add up and to really help the environment out, we all can pitch in and do things. Now, again, a lot of naysayers out there say that this is not the way to do things. It's not really possible to fix anything. Well, if one person throws away a aluminum can, that may not be too much, but if 330 million people in the United States throw away 330 million cans of aluminum in a day or so, that ends up being a lot. So we can all pitch in and help on a lot of these things. So coming up, we're going to take a look at some various ideas, some events that you might be interested in. And then also, again, if you've got any suggestions about what you would like to see out there, whether it's events or groups participating in cleanup efforts or websites or anything else like that, these blogs can't really survive without your participation. So if you've got something, please drop me an email, email address down there underneath my name and title and right above all the social media icons. You can find us out there for all of that. So again, looking at some great opportunities to do some good out there and we'll bring those to you as much as we possibly can into the course of the next couple of days and weeks and hopefully right on in throughout the rest of 2019. Starting off with the Tennessee Bat Working Group, it's winter time. We're right in the dead of winter right now and things are not going to be improving for temperatures again for those nice spring outdoor activities until we get into about the early part of springtime and starting towards summertime but that's when all the creepy crawlies will start to make their way back out again so if you would like to learn more about some of our flying friends out there that could help get rid of the mosquitoes and the gnats and a whole bunch of other things out there it's a great opportunity to encourage bats in your backyard they are not creepy they are doing a good job of helping us to control the pest population to make certain that we don't get stung as much by mosquitoes and that can spread disease so bats are a very good place to start making certain that they're healthy making certain that they have a lot of habitats out there that are clean and ready to go for springtime roosting season for bats is going to be coming up here in about the next few weeks right about the start of springtime they'll start looking for new roosts and new shelters so they can fly out at night catch the insects and fly back to the roost at dawn and they really do a good job of getting rid of some of those pesky insects out there around schools businesses football fields public parks baseball fields things like that a lot of urban areas a lot of management for city and counties are doing a very good job of starting to employ bats in their near location and that can help out and again if you'd like to know more about that more importantly if you'd like to know a little bit more about how you can keep them healthy there's a thing going on called white nose syndrome it's a fungus and it's helping to kill bats and it's already been found up and down the eastern seaboard there's a whole bunch of other things out there that you can do to help out on that again including clean environments and white nose syndrome has been found in tennessee and parts of the deep south so now's the time to really think about helping out our flying mammal friends out there more information about different types of again events and places to go to you can go to the tennessee citizens for wilderness planning great links to some other places on there including state local uh, environmental organizations, national parks, Tennessee state government, advocation sites, and great opportunities to find out more about what's going on out there. And you can find more about that at tcwp.org. Coming up in about another few days, the Chickasaw Group of the Sierra Club will be holding their monthly program meeting, and that'll be again on Thursday the 17th. I will be a part of this meeting. I've been invited to talk about, again, the uh, equations, the mathematics of climate change and what goes on, and a little bit more about communicating science a little bit more effectively. So if you'd like to know more about that, you can go to sierraclub.org, find the state, and find out more about what's going on uh, with the state of Tennessee out there as well. Good website to go to for more information, and we're just focusing on Tennessee this time around, is the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. You can access them at tn.gov slash environment, and a great opportunity to learn more about how you can get involved in a lot of neat things, including citizen science studies, state parks, air quality, 
practicing good environment uh, cleanups out there as well. So if you'd like to know more about that, again, TNDC, a uh, good place to go to for more information. They are available on Twitter. You can find out more at twitter.com slash TN environment. Good place to go to for on that. And of course, they've got, again, a great uh, Facebook presence as well. And you can get more on that at facebook.com slash, again, TN environment. So some great opportunities, again, to learn a little bit more about what's going on out there for you in the outdoors, uh, again, out there. Also here locally, Memphis Shelby County Office of Sustainability at SustainableShelby.com has, again, some great websites to go to out there to find out more about what's happening from the Agri Center to Clean Memphis, as we just spoke about, and numerous other initiatives all the way up and down Shelby County and throughout much of the rest of the Mid-South. Good opportunity to learn more about what's out there. And again, that's SustainableShelby.com. The Wolf River Conservancy doing a very good job of trying to make certain the Wolf River Channel is kept clean and the environment there is kept as pristine as possible for uh, canoers and hikers and students and everybody like that to find out more about what goes on and some great opportunities to learn more about what's happening there. They're going to be having an MLK Martin Luther King Jr. Day of service coming up in about the next couple of weeks. That'll be on Monday, January 21st, and that'll be happening again from 10 a.m. to noon. That'll be held at 2630 Eppingway Drive in Memphis. Uh, more information, you can contact Matt Weinmiller at wolfriver.org. That's matt.weinmiller at wolfriver.org. And his phone number, again, listed there if you'd like to find out more. Or for more information about what's going on with Wolf River, you can, again, contact them at their phone number or their website, again, at wolfriver.org. Great opportunity to see a group taking this much effort to help clean up and to promote ecological awareness and also to help clean up around the Mid-South area to promote other groups to help on that. Another one to, do, to take a look at is cleanmemphis.org and they will also be having uh, some updated days of service coming up January 18th, 19th and the 21st and if you'd like to know more about that they're looking for volunteers to cover all of Memphis proper and areas again close to and around portions of Bartlett, Frazier down toward around Germantown and anything to the west of Collierville in that area that's where they're focusing on and if you would like to become a volunteer for that you can volunteer at cleanmemphis.org for a lot more information about what may be going on out there and of course they also have a good Facebook page and you can find that at facebook.com slash clean Memphis good opportunity again to get into helping to clean up doesn't matter who threw the trash away what matters is we can help to clean it up and to promote the idea of a clean environment out there by doing our best to make certain that again everybody pitches into this effort and helps to clean things up so some very good websites to go to if you missed any of those again email me I'll let you know a little bit more about that one of the great website you can go to as we wrap things up here again for 2019 at the rainforestsite.com. It's a great place to go to. All you do is click on a button to verify that you visited and the ads that you view help to pay for rainforest space to be set aside. So far this year, and here's the really good news, again, about 12 million square feet, that's a lot of houses out there, or 278 acres have been saved from development for farmland. The rainforests are the lungs of our planet helping to keep things clean so you and I can keep breathing. So all you have to do is just once per day go to the rainforest site, click on the button, view some ads, and you've helped to set aside a corner of the rainforest. Small part of that to make certain that it stays pristine and keeping again the clean air pumping out there. Coming up in about 77 days, it's Earth Hour, not Earth Day, but Earth Hour. Your opportunity to learn more about how to conserve energy and a great opportunity for you to participate in that by turning the lights off in your home, your business, your place of worship, wherever, and again, an opportunity to learn more about how to prevent energy waste and therefore pump, pumping more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So again, some great opportunities to do that. We'll count you down on that and also bring you more information over the course of the next several days and weeks as we lead up to Earth Hour so you can participate. It'll be our, I believe, fifth year of doing that here at News Channel 3. We'll count off how many lights were left on upstairs and downstairs and how much that costs us every single year. And the numbers 
are pretty surprising. So we'll talk more about that coming up in the course of the next few weeks. So stay tuned for more on that. Miss anything? Email me again at austin.onic at wreg.com. And of course, we'll have another brand new edition of Your Environment coming up next weekend. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3.